Oh, hello, Anna. Oh, hello, Jeremy. It is impossible not to move to that music. There, it's just genetically. There's something gets activated, and I have to goof. <laughs> I know who you are. Why don't you tell us? Oh, <gasps> <gasps> sounded scary. <laughs> no, it, did. it did. It really did. So, as you're in Boston, I'm in Chicago. We both have been in the in the ad tech, martech, SaaS media space for quite a while. Data technology. You have an omnipresent analytical, sophisticated product strategy mindset that I have respected for so many years. So I'm excited to have you here. I know who you are. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Who am I speaking Thank with? Who are, who are Oh Hello listeners listening to and watching right now? Thank you. I'm a little uh, speechless now, which doesn't happen very often <laughs> and blushing. Uh, my name is Anna Milicevic. I am the co-founder and one of the two principals of Sparrow Advisors. Uh, I'm a long-term product strategy technology, originally computer science math person, and I've held numerous leadership roles in media, entertainment, startup, scale-up, very large company. I've kind of gone through every conceivable cycle you can think of in public and private companies, getting acquired, being on the acquirer side. And I've kind of accumulated all of these uh, business milestones, if you will, that now as a consultant and you know, senior advisor help me have a, a very um, effective way to help companies hit their goals, generally get better about what they're doing and have have a, a clear commercial result. So the helping strategize behind the scenes, the the product, the strategy, the commercialization, the revenue, the, the whole go to market plan essentially. It and how did you how did you get into that? It, it, it's such a I'm gonna keep it at that. How did you get into that? How did you decide to do that? Because from the experience that you've had, I would think that uh, it has provided just so many different nuggets and insights and information that you have, have gone through where you're able to provide so much guidance to so many folks. That, that, that goes straight into my sales deck. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, kind of by accident. So my, my career started as a, as a comp sci math person. I was coding. I really liked that. Uh, and then I foolishly kind of raised my hand um, at an opportunity in computer science class to work on a project outside of class. And I built a company around that as a, you know, just college kids building software. But um, then this was back in the day, uh, this is going to date me, but uh, back in the day when things like CMSs and the development world of today were, you know, still pretty far out. So everything was done custom. You spent a lot of time talking to your clients in, you know, agile was a new and bright thing in the horizon. And very quickly, I figured out that there were, I could code, but there were people who were a lot better at it than I was. But I had this magic skill, which was being able to talk to very different people and explain to each of them what the other group meant. And that was my my superpower. At the time, that didn't really exist as a function. Product management was very nascent. So I didn't know that that's what I was doing, but that's exactly what I was doing. Uh, blissfully, a few years later on, um, I realized that that's what I was doing. So I started to gravitate towards product and strategy roles. Um, officially, as opposed to just having some, you know, really silly title um, attached to it and similar. So it was a, a little bit accidental, but in many ways, the the perfect fit. And knowing what I know now and looking back at, you know, 20 year old me, I'd be like, all right, Anna, go and be, uh, uh, you know, product is where you should go, kind of. So yeah, well, but- <laughs> it worked out. <laughs> When you look back, what you would tell yourself 20 years ago would be just to stick with it. Would it be 
especially just being, a, you, and you and I talked about this, and I'm and the, the purpose of this pod and Oh Hello itself is to showcase vulnerability, to be able to mm-hmm. have up and comers or people feeling lost find others within the tech marketing advertising ecosystem. So would you tell someone basically stick with it? Like give give us a little bit more about what defines you and just like how you would characterize that skill set by to help by sharing it with the younger folks. Wow. Uh, how much time yeah. do you have? Because that's yeah. <laughs> gonna take a long time to I think for, for me personally, I I um I always thought that curiosity is uh, is such an undervalued skill and that if you are curious and have the openness and ability and willingness to learn new skills, you are going to be fine no matter where you start, no matter kind of where you're you're pointing yourself directionally. And I think that's what if I had to kind of pick one skill set that I'm extremely proud of, that that's the one that I would pick. I think in, in product and strategy roles, it's incredibly important because you're constantly shifting your, your purview from here's what we need to get done this quarter to, but here's how this is going to tie into something that we're building three years from now, five years from now, et cetera. And without being able to think through all of those different scenarios, you're you're not gonna be successful. Uh, that said, product in general has a, a bit of a, a challenge on on who to to articulate who and what a successful product leader looks like. If you are a, a woman, if you are from an underrepresented minority, you have to have the thickest of skins because you're going to just unfortunately, be dealing with a lot of uh, rejection, a lot of doubt, a lot of questions of, well, does you sh- does she really understand this stuff? And does she really know what she's talking about? And can she articulate this to the board? And, uh, you know, before being honest with each other, seeing a lot yeah. of folks who don't have to justify their smarts in, in similar ways because they look uh, a, a certain Absolutely. Different way. Yep. And uh, that, if, if anything, that was something that I wasn't ready for. Um, in my head, I am, you know, uh, a 19 year old Stanford dropout uh, dude bro with the world's, all the world's confidence. And this is how I present and this is how I talk. And when that comes in a slightly different package, that's not exactly how it's received. <laughs> so I, I had to learn that the, the hard way. <laughs> So part of what we're trying to do with with ohello.io oh with our, our tribe is is change it is being being able to actually walk the walk versus talking the talk. So I, essentially, when you think through your experiences, Anna, what, looking back, like what excites you about mentorship, and also understanding like the kind of feedback that you, that and and self-awareness of having been in a a product and strategy lead that has been an executive that has now had her own uh, incredibly respected advisory and consulting firm dealing with boards of directors, dealing with investors, dealing with startups, and also very large companies too that you work with. If you were to give back, like just thinking through just the mentorship component, like what excites you being part of the Oh Hello community that you're going to give back to that younger Anna, who is it, who may or may not be a dude bra. Yes, it, it's it's kind of interesting to look back on your career once it all starts making sense, and and because you you know what your thought process was at every step. And uh, a lot of times you're making leap of faith kinds of decisions that are based on some input, some feeling you have, and sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But, uh, but, but it, it's, it's kind of easy to tell your story backwards. And what, what I would love to be able to do is help folks who are in that, you know, they're about to make a decision, they're weighing different offers, they're weighing whether to go to this city or this other city, they're, they're trying to kind of find what type of role is going to suit them better. And I think it just helps having someone to talk it through and really to listen, because 
there's a certain gut feeling about these decisions that you have already and and having someone who's been through that process numerous times just listen and gently guide you through it i think can be hugely beneficial and i didn't come on to this until um, kind of mid career I, I i didn't know i should look for mentors when i was um younger i just kind of yeah. hotwired things myself and thankfully it wasn't a total disaster it worked really well but then when when i kind of understood the value a good mentor can have it it really accelerated that clicking of of different things in your head for me so much that that i i instantly needed to do that for somebody else and, and make sure that other people aren't hitting the same the same challenges, the same mistakes that I've I've hit. So well said, Anna. Who are a few different mentors that have had a profound impact on you? Ooh. Well, I think that the the first person that I really identified with as, as somebody who was working really closely with, but also perceived them as a mentor. Uh, was Adam Solomon. He's he's now at uh, at Amazon and like really well respected advertising leader. But uh, Adam and I got to know each other at a, a very early video on demand, paid video on demand startup that um, he was the CEO of, and I was an early executive on. And so Adam gave me the blueprint for what a, a CEO who has a product and strategy and and super strong commercial background looks like because I, I hadn't come across very many people like that before except you know in, in my first company that was kind of me but I had no idea what I was doing then so we can't really <laughs> that there was no right. yeah that was just all luck and uh, you know it's it's kind of scary to think about how long we've known each other now. <laughs> It's a really, really long time. And to have that kind of continuity with somebody as they're going through through different roles, what's exciting them versus like what you're thinking about and, and having someone like that. And then uh, the, the, the second one is, oh, man, so Bill Stratton, who is now at, at Snowflake, he recruited me into SaaS. And, and I, there are some people in this space that have a skill that manifests itself like magic to onlookers and, and Bill sure. has an uncanny ability to make things just work in really large, super complex, super hard to navigate organizations. And he's done this so many times. And I remember one of our first conversations, I was so drawn to this skill set, and I was like, I need, I need that. I need to grab onto that and somehow get some of it to, to, to grow on me. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. Well, Anna, last question before we wrap this up, mm -hmm. you know, this as a hello, you're able to uh, give back and donate to over 40 plus different charities within our platform. What is a cause that is near and dear to your heart? This was so hard to pick because they are all, all, all phenomenal. And uh, Sophie's and choice. I, Yes, <laughs> but but across like forty. But uh, I, I think uh, health in general is incredibly important, and I've been very blessed to have a, a very very healthy life so far. And I know people who haven't. I believe in the cause of Doctors Without Borders so much, and well, okay. uh, you know, especially their mission to go into regions and places where. Uh, just basic healthcare isn't necessarily a given. And so I'm a longtime supporter of that, theirs and I'm glad to throw some more weight behind awesome. that support. Awesome. Thank you so much for being part of the Oh Hello community. Thank you for being on the pod, the vibe. Thank you to all our listeners and viewers. We appreciate you. You can find Anna on ohello.io. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Anna.